Hello guys, so today we are going to learn on chapter 9, 9.5, Defecation. I hope you are ready with your pen and paper to take notes. Okay, the learning standard for this topic is 9.5.1 where you should be able to explain the functions of the large intestine in terms of absorption of water and vitamins and also formation of feces. Alright now, uh, do you know that the digestive system has its own routines? Yes, from the moment the food enters the mouth till it is removed as waste through the anus is all an important daily routine of the system which cannot be changed. Now where is the last process of digestion occur? Yes, it's in the small intestine. Now, the large intestine takes about 16 hours to finish up the remaining process of the digestive system. Food is no longer broken down at this stage of digestion. After the absorption of nutrients is completed in the ileum, the undigested food, dead cells, epithelial cells, fiber and water enters the large intestine and moves slowly through the peristaltic direction. Now, the large intestine carries out absorption of water and vitamin and also the formation of feces. Okay, now let's get to know the large intestine. What is the components of the large intestine? Okay, from the last lesson, we know that the small intestine is approximately 6 meters long. And now, the large intestine is about 1.5 meter long. Yes. Okay, the large intestine or the colon consists of sacrum, appendix, there are four types of colon, the ascending colon, transverse, then the descending colon and the sigmoid colon. It also consists of the rectum. Now, the main function of the large intestine is to absorb water and solidify the undigested food into feces. Now, it also helps to absorb vitamins which are produced by bacteria. Yes, you heard that right. Of course, there are the non-harmful bacteria that can be found in the large intestine which produces vitamins which you will learn later in this video. Okay, the large intestine also stores feces before defecation. Now, defecation is the process of feces elimination through the anus. Okay, from previous lesson, you know that food can be digested and absorbed once it reaches the ileum. After that, the intestinal contents enter the large intestine. Absorption of water from the undigested food remains in the colon, results in the formation of feces. Okay, feces also consists of dead cells shed from the intestinal lining as well as bile pigment and toxic substances. Toxic substances has to be eliminated from the body. Okay, and then undigested waste food channel into the cecum of the large intestine by peristaltic movement and then into the colon. All right, now the wall of colon secretes a mucus which helps to bind the feces and lubricates the movement of feces along the colon. Now, when the feces reaches the sigmoid colon, it has already solidified and dried. It functions to slow down the movement of feces until it is time to be expelled. Okay, the movement of feces will take about 12 to 24 hours before entering the rectum. The rectum will also absorb water from the feces, making it semi-solid. The rectum stores the feces temporarily. Now, the accumulation of feces in the rectum increases the pressure in the rectum, causing the urge to expel the feces from the body. All right, so defecation is the process of expelling the feces from the large intestine through the anus. All right, now let's look into the role of microorganism in the large intestine. Now, the large intestine has a huge population of bacteria for about 1,000 different species. 
It also provides a habitat for two different groups of bacteria. That is the useful bacteria and also the harmful pathogenic bacteria. Now, E. coli is the useful bacteria normally found in the colon. The bacteria live sym symbiotically in the colon by digesting organic substances and also producing vitamin B and K. All right, uh, which are then absorbed into the human body. The useful bacteria produces antibiotics okay, to control the growth of harmful bacteria. For example, Lactobacillus acidophilus secretes acidophilic antibiotic which impedes the life cycle of the pathogenic bacteria. Lastly, uh, useful microorganisms are important in maintaining the balance of a stable environment in the elementary canal. Yeah, so we are done. That's all for defecation. So once you're done with all that, you need to answer questions from formative practice 9.4 in page 155 to test your understanding. So the questions are, number one, state the main function of the large intestine. What are the substances absorbed in the large intestine? Explain the importance of water absorption and vitamins in the large intestine. And lastly, explain the formation process of feces. So with that, I will end my video here. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.